Hey guys, this video has been requested so many times. It's like one of my top requested videos ever and it is my MAC eyeshadow palettes. These palettes, I cannot live without. Let me just put that out there. Um, I love me some MAC. Um, I love MAC for the lipsticks and eyeshadows. Those are mainly the only two things I buy. I do like the blushes too, but their lipsticks and eyeshadows, that's what I'm like crazy for. So I have two MAC palettes here. I'm working on my third one, but I'll just show these two for now. Um, I have a more neutral one and a more like bold one. I do store them in their 15 eyeshadow palettes. This is the easiest way to store them for me. Um, I used to have all of them in different quads. Like I have so many of these quads because for every Christmas I always get a MAC quad that I pick out. So now I finally bought these online. I, they were never in the store. So I finally purchased them online this summer. And let me tell you, it's so much easier to have them stored in a 15 eyeshadow palette like this than instead of their quads. Because in their quads, I would never reach for these ever. And here it's just so... Ooh, I can see you and I want to use you. So I'll go through my neutral eyeshadow palette first. There really is no rhyme or reason why I have certain ones in certain places, but this is just how I put them in here. As you can see, a lot of them have hit pan because I use my MAC eyeshadows so much, like more than pretty much any of my other palettes. I reach for these more. So this first one is Gesso. It's just a matte white and this is one of my staples in my collection swatched on my arm right here for you and as you can see it's just a very matte white I don't know if that's really picking up from the light but there's gesso right there this next one is white frost this next one is white frost and it's just like the name says it is a white frost so this one I don't have much left of but this is nylon by Mac and it is a frost color also swatch that on my arm right here it's just a beautiful muted gold it is so nice this next one is Ploof. This is such a beautiful color. This is actually my second one of this. It just, I have to have it. So there, it's swatch right there. It's just sort of a muted rose gold neutral shimmery shade. This next one is Naked Lunch. There it is swatched for you. This next one is Jest and it's a little bit like Naked Lunch but a bit more pink. So there is Jest. So here they are again, Gesso, White Frost, Nylon, Ploof, uh, Naked Lunch, and Jest. This next one is Ho. Swatch it right here for you. This is a nice matte color. I love this color. This one is Shag. It's kind of like the other one, but a little bit different, a little bit of a variation. And I'll swatch it here for you. A little bit more of a red. This one is girly. This is soba. This one is era. This one is Shale, and this is one of my favorite eyeshadows. This one is Patina, and this is also such a beautiful eyeshadow. Look at that, it's so pretty. This one is Honey Lust, and it is a really pretty kind of bronzy gold. And this one is one of my all-time favorites also. It's Grand Entrance. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So that was Ho, Shag, Girly, Soba, Era, Shale, Patina, Honey Lust, and Grand Entrance. So moving on to my darker palette, I don't have any rhyme or reason to how these are organized either. This one is Carbon, and this is just a staple for my MAC eyeshadows. Just a matte black. There's carbon for ya. This one is print and it is a dark gray, almost a black color. There's print, it's a lot smoother than carbon, but it's more of a gray tone. This one is beauty marked. It's a beautiful black with a purple shimmer in it. 
there's Beauty Marked. It comes off very gray. It's a very muted color. This is Intoxicate. And there is Intoxicate. Sort of like a dark maroon. This one is Sketch. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadows also. It is Star. It's so pretty. There we go. This one is Bronze. This is Nocturnal. This is Mulch. This is one of my favorite ones also. It's a staple. And this is Plumage or Plumage. Just a nice dark one there. This one is Humid. Beautiful forest green. This is Club. Looks green, but goes on brown. This is Plum Dressing. And this is Coppering. This is a really beautiful color, too. So there we go. So that concludes my video on my MAC palettes. I have other MAC eyeshadows, but they're in the pot. I thought I would include the other eyeshadows at the end here that I don't have a palette, so here they are. This is Digit, just a light lavender. This is Brill, nice turquoise green. This is Silver Screen from the Marilyn Collection. Just what the name says, it's a nice silver color. And this is Grain. I love this color, I used to always use this on my lid. Just a nice neutral. I also have another coppering in its little pot, and I have another mulch in here that is broken. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! They also sent me this pamphlet right here, which is just an overview of their Google Makeup Artistry program. So it lists the levels and then it goes into the levels more deeply and like lists what you're going to be taking and what you're going to be